it's a dream come true. You know, this is this is what you put the body working. This is this is what you dream about as a kid. You know, dreaming about playing in the NFL to have success like this, to be able to be up here right now holding this trophy. So um, it's just a dream come true, man. Words really can't express how I'm feeling right now. Trying to hold back the tears, man. Trying to man up a little bit, but you know, it's, it's truly a blessing. Any questions for Aaron? NBC Pittsburgh. Pitt. Pitt. I got to ask you, first of all, do you think back to those hard days at Pitt right now and, and, and all the work that you put in there to on this day? That's one of the main reasons why I'm here, because of Pitt. You know, um, had some great coaches that helped me to become the player I am, you know, that to, to build me, to mold me who I am and, and show me the way. So, um, you know, I'm glad to be able to have the opportunity to, that, you know, to stay at Pittsburgh where I was born and raised and play for a great college that I dreamed about playing all my life and, you know, and, and, and have my, you know, be drafted to the St. Louis Rams, now the L.A. Rams. So, um, you know, been a good ride so far. Even though you missed two games, how would you characterize your season? It was good. You know, definitely a solid season. You know, but you always want to do more. You know, that's the good, that's the best thing about this game. You can't be comfortable. Once you get comfortable, that's when you know you you no longer no good. So just staying hungry. You know, having a mindset that I ain't, I ain't, I ain't I ain't arrived yet. I ain't did enough. So um, just gonna continue to work and, and we just getting started. So. How would you kind of characterize the way this season, hey, Aaron over here, how would you characterize the way this season went, you know, your first year, you guys under Sean McVay, and, and with you particularly with Wade Phillips? It's been great, you know, had a winning season, first winning season had in this, in this, in this league, so um, definitely was a fun year, you know, it's a lot more fun when you win it than losing, so we definitely got a whole lot to build off, so that's the, mess, the main thing, we got a young, hungry coach with a lot of young, hungry players that, that's not satisfied, that, that know we should be still playing right now, so um, we got a bunch of guys like that on the team with great coaches like Wade that's, that's putting us in situations and putting us in places to have success to help this team to win. You know, sky's the limit. So, how good, how good was the Rams defense overall this year? We was good. I feel like we made mistakes just like anybody else. You know, I, I, I don't want to say we was perfect, but you know, we, we we got a lot of room for improvement. You know, and that's the best thing. I feel like the season we had was a great season, but it, it, it ain't the best that we can do. I know we can do more, and I know the guys that that, that I'm that I'm going on the field with, going to war with, know that too. So. Hard work, you know, the whole, the, through the whole process, you know, I was putting in the body of work. You know, I had my, my trainer I've been working with since high school and Dwayne Brown, you know, they, they had me in my best shape of my life. Had my big brother with me that, you know, after every workout, we, we line the beds up, we, we walk through, do walk through, walk through the plays and, you know, work my technique and work my pass rush moves with my brother. So, um, you know, I always say, you put the body at work and it's going to show, you know, and, and we, we, we put a whole lot of work in. You know, we wasn't on the football field, but we were still, you know, busting our butts and, and, and trying to do every, everything I can to be in top shape to, to be ready when that time came. So, Aaron, you, you said you're just getting started. We're all anxious to see what's going to happen with your contract negotiations. What does having a D defensive player year award maybe now do for your leverage? Um, you know, I'm just glad and, and blessed to have the opportunity to be holding this trophy, but you know, I got a good team, got great agents that I know that's going to handle the business side, and, and I trust them guys. But all I can do is, I, is play football, I put it on film. But, you know, um, when it happened, it's happened. But, you know, like I said, I got a great team with me, so I'm going to let them guys handle it. Aaron uh, Herman Chow, NBC uh, News Channel. You're walking the red carpet and seeing all these legends that have also won that award. How does that make you feel that you're in that group? That's why I'm trying to hold back the tears. You know, I got the opportunity, um, I want to say two days ago, I got to talk to Ray Lewis, you know. Um, that was a guy I watched a lot growing up, and, and you trying to imitate the way he played the game and, and the passion he had for it. So to meet guys like that, legends that did it before you, and, and they know who you are, that's the thing. I'm like, wow. You know, he knew he knew my name before I ever said something. So knowing that and, and be able to talk to guys like that, and, and he, he gave me little little talks, and, you know, to trying to help me to improve my game and lead a little better. So, um, you know, like I said, it's just a blessing, man. I had opportunities I've been meeting, people I've been meeting, and, and be here today. Aaron, you're the first pure defensive tackle to win this award since Warren Sapp in 99. What does that mean to you? Uh, everything. You know, he, that's one of the best to ever do it. So, you know, even for, for my name to be next to that guy's name is, is, is beyond, beyond a blessing. You know, but like I said, my dad been telling me since, you know, I was 12, 12 years old working out in my basement, trying to work to get to this point, man. Hard work pay off, man. So you, you put the body at work and it's going to pay off for you. So it's just been paying off big. Aaron, who are some other defensive linemen in the league that you've kind of watched and admired and kind of helped uh, motivate you to get better? Um, I watch a lot of guys. You know, McCoy. I watch McCoy. I watch Cox. I watch Geno Atkins, them guys like that that, you know, have a lot of success and, and, and go out there week in and week out and, and put it on film. So, those guys that I feel like it's fun to watch. So, 
Aaron, uh, linemen don't get a lot of recognition on the defensive side. Is this the best regular season award you can possibly win? Um, I don't know. I'm just happy that I got this award right now. You know, it's like you, you, you only dream about stuff like this, man. It, it, it really, it, you just dream about it. So to be right here right now in this situation and, and holding this trophy in my hand, you know, it's, I, I really can't express it. I can't say too much because I don't know how to say it in words, you know, so.